Okay, home, toggle, that works. And it's still the, uh, you can pull up from the side too. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another short tutorial right here. And in this video, we're gonna be going over how we can create a drawer navigator in uh, React Native. So come over to the drawer navigation here. And this is basically what we wanna be uh, creating. Basically it'll pull up from the side and then we can navigate to different screens from there. So that is for this video and uh, yeah, let's get going. All right, so we're over the documentation here. Uh, these docs are pretty good, so you might wanna come and check them out real quick. But uh, yeah, let's get started right here. So we're gonna have to install a few things. All right, so the first thing I have is a React Native project running right now, and this is built with Expo. So just running Expo init and getting this up and running. And then inside here, I have just have a components folder, and then I have two different uh, files, home.js and secondscreen.js. And uh, those will be the ones that we are navigating between. So that is basically all I have. It's just a bare expo project, um, nothing else uh, with that. So let's get into adding this uh, drawer navigation. All right, so we're over at these uh, docs here. Um, so we're just gonna first get this installed. So come over here. We're just gonna copy this over. I'm gonna use yarn and we will come over to here and let's go and add this and then while that's running we will come back over and we're going to add a few things so there's going to be a few dependencies here so we're just going to use this go expo install and if you're not using expo um, you can do it into a bare workful uh, flow here and the docs shows you how to do that but since we are we will use the expo version and we'll just wait for this to go and then we'll add those. All right, so that first one's done and then we're just gonna paste in this expo install and it's just a few different things. So React Native Gesture Handler, uh, what else we got? We got uh, React Native Reanimated, um, React Native Screens, a few other things. So let's run these here. All right, so that's done installing so we can exit out of this and give ourselves a little more room right now. So we have these two screens. We've got a home screen and we've got a second screen and we want to navigate between them using the drawer navigator. So the first thing we're gonna do is coming in both of these and we're just gonna add uh, navigation to that, save that. And then the second screen, we will also add navigation. Okay, go ahead and save that. Now we wanna come into our app.js here and this is kind of where we're going to do all our work. So come up to the top here and we'll just go below here and we will go const and we'll say drawer and that's going to be equal to create uh, drawer, uh, what's it called, navigator. Okay, and then we're going to call that. And then that's going to create our drawer navigator. And then we want to come down here inside of our app here and we can actually get rid of all this. And we actually, we'll just get rid of everything actually. Okay, so that's looking good. And now what we want to do is add something called a navigation container. So let's do that. Okay, so this navigation container is going to wrap our entire uh, screen, but it doesn't look like that is being brought in right now. So we can just come in to the top here and bring that in. So make sure you have navigation container from react navigation slash native there. All right, so that's going to wrap our entire uh, app here. And then we're going to come in here and we're going to add a, a drawer.navigator. And then we're gonna add an initial route. And that's gonna be equal for us to home. So we're gonna start at the home page, home screen rather. And then we're gonna come down here. And then in here, we wanna add our two different routes. So we can do a drawer screen for that. And then you want to add the name of the route. So name equals home for the first one. And then you pass in the component here. And that component is for us, the home component. 
Okay, and then we want to close this off. And then we can just copy this down here and we want to switch this one. And for us, we called it uh, second uh, screen. And then we want to pass in the second screen component. Now we want to make sure we're bringing these up in. So come up to the top and make sure we're importing them. Import uh, home from dot slash components slash home. And then our second one, copy this down. This will be second screen and again, second screen. Okay, so that's looking good. So let's go ahead and save this. Oh, it looks like we're not bringing in the create drawer navigator. So that didn't auto import. So make sure we bring that in up top here. So paste that in and go ahead and save. Looks like my auto import's not working. And then we can come back over and refresh this. Okay, so it looks like we didn't, uh, we forgot to actually add the drawer navigation. So we're bringing all this stuff in. We haven't actually uh, added the drawer navigation. So let's come back over to our docs real quick. And we wanna come into the drawer navigation because all we added was the uh, regular nav. So copy over this and then come back over and we'll open this up and give ourselves a new window here and paste this in. And we actually use yarn here. So we wanna go uh, yarn add. All right, so once that's done, we can exit out of that and we might need to restart our servers here All right, so now we have everything installed and this looks like it should be working. So let's come over. Got our simulator going over here and uh, you can run yarn start to, uh, to get that up and running. And we got our home screen, which is our initial route here, uh, which is good. And then if we just pull out from the side here, we can uh, go to our second screen. And then we got our second screen. And we, again, we can do the same thing scroll out and go to home screen. So that's basically our drawer navigator right there. Now, if we go back to the docs here um, and we come in here, we can do stuff like uh, navigation.open drawer and toggle drawer. So actually let's do a button and we'll do a toggle drawer as well, just to see what that looks like. So let's come in here, come back to our uh, code here. All right, so we got our drawer navigation working here, but now we want to add that toggle um, drawer. So we can add a button that will toggle the drawer. So let's come over to our home here and let's add a button here. Okay, just like that. And then come down below here and we are going to add the button. So button and we're going to have a title of uh, what should we call it? We'll just say toggle. Okay, and then we are gonna have an on press, and that is gonna be equal to navigation dot uh, toggle drawer like that, and then you just wanna call that within there. Okay, so go ahead and uh, close this off. Close off the button and save it. And now if we come over to our uh, simulator here, we got a toggle button. We click that and it toggles our screen. We can toggle it again. Uh, we don't have the button on this screen, so we still gotta pull out from here, but we can just add this same button if we want over here to our second screen. Paste that in, make sure we bring in the button here. Okay, and save that. And then we can come back again and we see second screen, we have toggle. Okay, home, toggle, that works. And it's still the, uh, you can pull up from the side too. So that is basically our drawer navigation. Um, a short one today, but uh, hopefully it was useful. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.